bugs, beauty, relaxation. <laughs> Those are the three words that I would use to describe being in the jungles of Costa Rica. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, I, I want to tell you about my trip to Costa Rica. Before I get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified when I post a new blog every Thursday. And I also have some great other shows too. Um, but man, you know, I'm sitting here at home in the quarantine like the rest of you thinking about the trip that I got to take right before all this happened, well, as it was coming, really getting serious, Costa Rica has been on my um, bucket list for some years now. It was on my vision board for last year and it didn't happen, but this year it happened. One of my best friends, Phoenix Kesri, she's a world international pole dance champion. We also did the Lion King together for many years and became really close friends and she travels the world all the time with her work. And around December, she told me, she was like, Christine, I may be going to Costa Rica. Do you wanna come? Have a girl's trip? Hell yeah, I wanna come. <laughs> so that's what happened. I uh, We arranged it and it was a really bad time to take a trip, to be honest. The dates for her trip were February 24th through March 1st. And if, you, if you're not an actor, that is prime time for pilot season. But I was like, you know what? This is a once in a lifetime chance to go with my friend, stay at an amazing place that we were being housed and a villa, by the way. Shout out to Art Villas in Costa Rica. They treated us amazingly well. Um, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna do it. I, pr I, I promised myself this year that I would travel more um, and because I love to travel, it makes me feel alive. And also like, no, this is me. I'm always, uh, what's the word? I'm always scheduling everything around my career. And I was like, not this year, not 2020. Like this is gonna be for me. It'll work itself out. I called my agent, went to my, well, I went to visit my managers and I said, hey, I'm taking this trip, no questions asked. I know the timing, but I will travel with my self-tape setup. So to all my clients watching out there, you actors out there who do self-tapes, I don't wanna hear no excuses. I was taping, I mean, I got so many auditions this week, the week I was gone. It was hilarious. The week before, quiet. When I got back, quiet. But the week I was in the jungle, I had five auditions. And so we had all kinds of crazy setups, stacking suitcases on top of stuff, using different walls. And I mean, trying to shoot in the middle of the night when it was quiet, cause it was a, it was a villa, you know, it was a nice group of us there. Cause there were some other people who came to join us. So it was so hilarious. And shout out again to my bestie who dealt with me every night with reading with me. <laughs> but I put some good cell tapes out there. But overall, it was lovely. I'm so glad I did it. We went to some amazing places. Our host gave us all kinds of tours. We went to this amazing waterfall. There's so many waterfalls there, but the one we went to was really nice and it was very scenic and it was a nice hike, honey. Them legs got a workout. Ooh, okay, little bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these videos, videos are really good. So, oh, oh wow. Bitch. Okay. Oh, bitch. I'm not even gonna look down. Okay, We're not even gonna talk about this little bridge. Okay. Cool. It was just beautiful. The, it was a cool group of people. There were some other uh, professional um, pole dancers there. Um, and I don't mean like, you know, drop it like it's hot. I'm talking like really beautiful, uh, creative, uh, women and so we got to just see so many things because we were there you know where we stayed was in an area called Dominical Costa Rica it was three hours from we flew into to San Juan but it was three hours from there so we had someone someone came and picked us up 
took us three hours in the middle of the night to the villa. We were so tired and exhausted. But when I tell you, when we got there, we were not prepared for the bugs. And I heard Costa Rica had big bugs, but I just wasn't prepared for jungle bugs. Y'all, jungle bugs on another level. I mean, all kinds of exotic bugs, things that were like big, zipping around. I was just, it was a lot. So it started getting kind of, and we arrived at night, so it was very creepy. So during the day it would be cool, but then when it turned nightfall, like that's when like we all put our guard up. <laughs> <laughs> because this one typical, what this one specific kind of bug was bold. Like it would always come toward the light. I was, we were having dinner one night with the, the they had some chefs come and they cook for us. And the bug literally smacked me dead into my cleavage, landed in my bestie's jumpsuit. She's taking herself off. Like we're all freaking out. So there were some hilarious moments like that. I have no pictures of the bugs because I didn't care to have a pictures of the bugs. I think my friends took pictures of the bugs, but I'm, I didn't have any. Um, but we did some cool things. We got to see alligators. I mean, just right up and close and personal. Um, what else? I have my little notes here. The food was delicious. We got to, we, it, we ate out sometimes, but we had an amazing um, housekeeper who came to the villa every morning, provided fresh fruits and breakfast. And then, like I said, chefs would come some days. Some days we cooked on our own. I love to go to the local grocery store whenever I travel to any country or anywhere, because I want to see what the locals are doing. Also, I um, hablo espanol. Quiero ser fluido en espanol. So I got to practice um, with uh, muchas personas us, you know, and it was really nice. I'm not fluent yet, but listen, I'm working on it. But that was nice, getting to practice and speak and just meet the people and experience the, the land. Um, gosh, the views were amazing. They were epic. I just would sit in gratitude every day and just stare out at the jungle like, I'm in the jungle. We would take these other tours and stuff and you hear the monkeys in the in the trees and you hear all these kinds of birds and all kinds of lizards and geckos. I mean, it was really, it was really beautiful, but we were in their element. Like we were the guests and I had to remember that. Um, but so it was very like kind of freaky in the beginning, but as the days progressed and going to, we went to so many beaches. I mean, there's so many beaches there, but not like the beaches we're used to, like here in the States. I think there's some of the beaches had a lot of rocks, some of the beaches. Um, so if it was high tide, you couldn't really get on there. The sand in Costa Rica is like mud. It's dark brown. So it feels kind of gross. And for some of the beaches, like it felt like your feet were sinking in like quicksand it was very strange definitely not oh let's kick up some sand that is not how the sand is there it is like mud and sticky and a little weird um so yeah uh so when we came back like people were just starting to get more nervous on the planes and stuff so i'm just grateful we got back in time when i did get back um it, it rained there the third day and it, start, it would rain like you know, like sprinkles and sun showers. Sometimes it would pour, but not the whole time. We were not there during the rainy season, so it was good. But that's when the mosquitoes came out and my skin is already super sensitive. I scar very easily as you can see. Um, so when I got back into the States, I ended up breaking out like these hive thingies and it was all, it was weird. So I had to go get some ointment when I got back, but I'm okay now, all is well. <laughs> But um, it was an epic trip. Um, I'm so glad I got to experience it in Dominical um, because it was a much slower pace. Um, the housekeeper who worked at the villa, we talked every day. We practiced speaking in Spanish. She practiced in English. And she was saying she moved there from San Juan, you know, to get away to, to, for work, but also to get away from it all. So she's like, it's just three hours away. And it was really beautiful, as you can see from the views. It was lovely and peaceful. And it was the relaxation that I needed. I did, you know, outside of my auditions, which were, which was work, so I wasn't able to check out a thousand percent, but it wasn't, it didn't take my whole day. You know, I ate well, I drank well, I slept well, I had great conversations. And I'm so glad that I trusted my gut and went on that trip because now with COVID-19 and this quarantine, who knows when I'll be able to fly out of the country again. So the message today is listen to your gut, take that trip when you can. And for me, it makes me feel alive. And so I'm so grateful for it. 
Be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey you, are you an actor? Not booking. Well, guess what? The problem isn't you. It's not that you're not talented, hardworking, or deserving. It's that you haven't found the missing link that can change your career forever. Playing Small, the actor's guide to becoming a booking magnet. It's my new book. You can order it now at whyplaysmall.com.